Stop using manure. This October soil trick will, uh, triple your harvest naturally. Tired of soil that seems lifeless no matter how much compost or manure you add? Here's the truth. There's something far better than manure. Cleaner, richer, and honestly, a hundred times more effective at reviving tired soil. And the best part? You can do it all naturally, for free or at almost no cost. In this Soil and Crops Central video, we'll show you exactly what to add to your soil this October to make it burst with life by spring. Rebuilding the heart of your garden. After harvest, your soil is like a tired athlete. It's given everything it had to grow your crops and now needs nutrition to recover. Autumn is the single most important moment to feed your soil because the cool weather allows nutrients to settle deep without burning roots. As winter moisture seeps in, it naturally carries these nutrients through the layers of your garden bed. By spring, your soil will be loose, rich, and, well, biologically alive. And no, you don't need to shovel in smelly manure or buy pricey store fertilizers. You can rebuild soil fertility using natural, organic ingredients that don't invite weeds or pests. The first ingredient in our autumn soil revival formula is bone meal. It's honestly one of the most effective organic sources of phosphorus and calcium out there. Phosphorus is what really fuels root development and boosts overall plant strength, you know, and it also helps beneficial microbes thrive through the winter. To apply it, just sprinkle about 100 grams of bone meal per square meter of soil, then work it lightly into the top 5 centimeters of earth using your hand or, well, a small rake. You'll notice how the soil immediately feels softer and more crumbly. Bone meal also helps balance soil acidity, which is really crucial after a heavy season of planting. When spring comes around, your soil will feel fresh, light, and ready to nurture new growth. Heavy, compacted soils can really suffocate roots and hold too much water, which ends up slowing nutrient exchange. To counter this, mix in organic matter like sawdust, coconut choir, or even shredded dry leaves. Each of these materials creates tiny air pockets, letting oxygen and water circulate freely. Sawdust, in particular, absorbs excess moisture and then releases it slowly over time, helping to regulate soil hydration during those cold months. Another simple yet powerful amendment is wood ash. It's rich in potassium, calcium, and trace minerals, which, you know, help plants build stronger cell walls and resist stress. Spread one cup of dry, sifted ash evenly over each square meter of soil, then lightly blend it into the surface. Just be careful not to overdo it. A little goes a long way. The Secret Liquid Feed Nettle and Comfrey Tea if you've never brewed your own plant-based fertilizer, well, you're missing out on one of nature's best-kept secrets. Nettle and Comfrey Tea is a powerhouse of nitrogen, potassium, and micronutrients that feed your soil microbes while improving fertility for months. To make it, fill a 10-liter bucket halfway with fresh or dried nettles or comfrey leaves. Add water until the bucket is full, cover it loosely, and let it ferment for two to three weeks. When the mixture turns dark and smells earthy, it's ready. For use, dilute 1 liter of the fermented tea in 10 liters of water, then pour it evenly over your garden beds. This nutrient-rich tonic restores vitality, boosts microbial life, and strengthens the soil ecosystem. Seaweed, the ocean's gift to your garden. If you happen to live near the coast or have access to seaweed meal, this is, honestly, another secret weapon for autumn soil care. Seaweed is loaded with natural growth hormones, enzymes, and, well, over 60 trace minerals that your soil craves. It improves water retention, increases resistance to diseases, and helps plants absorb nutrients efficiently. To apply, just spread about 200 grams of dried crushed seaweed per square meter and gently mix it into the topsoil. Potassium humate or homemade compost tea. 
To tie everything together, finish your soil treatment with a deep soak using potassium humate or a homemade compost tea. This step activates all the nutrients you've added and awakens dormant microorganisms. For humat, mix one tablespoon per 10 liters of water, then water the soil thoroughly. If you're using compost tea, take one shovel of mature compost, steep it in 10 liters of water for 24 to 48 hours, then strain and pour it over the soil. This living brew strengthens microbial life, improves soil texture, and enhances nutrient absorption for months ahead. Let nature work through the winter. Once you've finished, simply let nature take over. Rain, frost, and snow will draw these nutrients deep into the ground, while microbes quietly rebuild the soil's inner network. By the time spring arrives, your garden beds will be rich, loose, and naturally fertilized, without a trace of manure or synthetic chemicals. Final Thoughts Remember, great harvests begin with great soil, and great soil begins in autumn. By feeding your soil now with bone meal, wood ash, organic teas, and humates, you set the stage for strong, healthy, high-yielding crops next season. If you found this video from Soil and Crops Central helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your fellow gardeners. Your soil is alive. And this October, you can make it thrive naturally.